Greetings, I'm John Rose with Kentucky Bushcraft. Tonight I want to talk a little bit about survival psychology and a few things to do if you find yourself in a situation where you're stranded, uh, maybe you've gotten a little bit late in the day, a little bit lost in the woods, lost your bearings, maybe you're out on a, uh, a drive and, and your car breaks down, you get a flat tire and you're on a country road somewhere, or even on the interstate and you find that you're going to be stuck for a few hours or maybe even for the night. So, uh, so you need to kind of get yourself collected together. Could be any number of situations. Maybe you even find yourself hurt or, uh, or uh, some kind of a little bit more dire situation or the weather turns bad and you can't make it back to camp or you can't make it back to your car. So, so you got to kind of collect yourself and, uh, and get yourself hauled together so that you can face the situation with a little bit more ease and, uh, and uh, figure out what to do. So the first thing to do that I recommend in a situation like this is to stop and assess your situation and your scenario. So what I like to do is take a few deep breaths, a few real deep relaxing breaths, and get my bearings, get my mind straight, get my head together. So what you want to do is take some deep breaths all the way down into the, your lower abdomen, just deep as you can. And when you breathe in, breathe in through your nose real nice and slow. And then breathe out through your mouth real nice and slow. Take your time and get yourself grounded. Have your feet just firmly planted on the ground and relax. Every time you take a breath, relax just a little bit further. Do five or ten of those and realize that you don't have to rush, that you don't want to rush because you don't want to expend any more energy. Anytime we get anxious, we start moving too fast, we start rushing, then we start expending way more energy than we need to in the situation. So I'll show you a little couple of practice breaths here. We want to breathe in. Take that nice, slow breath out. Nice, deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. We do five or ten of those, and or whatever it takes to get your head collected together and to figure out what you might need to do as your next step. So you get yourself relaxed. Next thing you want to do is you want to look around and assess the situation. Okay, say your car broke down. You want to just say, okay, what's what could possibly be the matter with the car here? You don't want to expend too much energy on that at the moment. But if it's an immediate fix and you can get back on the road, that's great. If not, you need to figure out, okay, can I stay in my car? Am I going to be safe here using this as a shelter? So car might be uh, an excellent shelter. If not, you'll have to find some other situation, something else. Maybe you have a blanket in the back of your car, in the trunk of your car. Uh, maybe you have uh, some, some warm clothes, changes of clothes, or a, a rain poncho, or some trash bags, or something like that, that you can uh, create a makeshift shelter. Otherwise, uh, if you're out hiking, and maybe, maybe you don't have your pack with you, maybe you don't have supplies with you, then you might have to find a shelter uh, that's in your immediate environment. Uh, you can take the time, if you have the, the luxury of time, to build a debris hut, although that takes a number of hours. You have to collect your materials. You have to first find a, a primary location, a good location for your shelter, get your materials gathered up, and, and make that shelter. And if you don't have time, then you have to seek something that's uh, a shelter that may be pre-existing could be a rock overhang if you're out uh, in, a, in a rocky area or in a mountainous area. It could be uh, a downed tree that you can hunker down in uh, and nestle down in next to. You can pull some leaves up over your or uh, some branches. You have the luxury of evergreen trees, pine trees, something of that sort. You can make a bed from that. Uh, if you have a, a number of dry leaves or debris on the ground, you can gather that up. Whatever that takes to kind of get you up off the ground to keep you uh, a little bit warm anyway. 
you want to keep in mind that shelter is your primary concern at this time. Uh, in, in order, I always present what I consider the this, this sacred four, the way that I learned it, uh, which is shelter, fire, water, and food. Primarily in that order, it's almost always in that order. And shelter is always your primary concern. Uh, so you want to assess your situation. You want to keep your anxiety level down as low as possible. Uh, you want to take those deep breaths. And if you find yourself getting cranked up or getting anxious, you want to stop. Take a few deep breaths. Tell yourself, okay, what do I have to do next? What do I need to do? Be methodical about it, but deliberate. You don't want to waste energy or expend any more energy than you have to, but you want all the energy that you expend to count toward uh, making sure that you are safe and taken care of in this situation, whatever situation you find yourself in. So stop every now and then, reassess your situation, look around, what do I need to do to make this work? And then just keep uh, motivating and moving in that direction. And so uh, I'm going to take a little break here and uh, let you assimilate these ideas. And we'll come back with another video uh, here shortly. So again, I'm John Rose with Kentucky Bushcraft, giving you a few ideas of what to do should you find yourself in a survival situation, a little bit on survival psychology. Have a good evening.